Greetings, folks. Today is Saturday, April the 27th, 2019. I'm Tom Weinweaver, and this is my commentary. And as you see on the screen, <laughs> um, my topic is about conservatives dropping the ball about abortion. You see, every time they talk about Representative Omar, what do they talk about? You see, she's been telling the truth about our government and how our government is entwined with the government of Israel. That there is an allegiance between the United States government and the Israeli government. Okay, she's telling the truth, folks. She's telling the truth about that. But, and, and conservatives are attacking her for telling the truth. But, why don't they say anything about her support for Planned Parenthood? Now, I've been saying, I mean, she supports abortion. I mean, beyond what she tells us about government and Israel and all that, beyond that, she's probably just a typical Democrat. But you don't hear conservatives talking about that. These pro-Israel people have to attack her on that basis. Now, got a question. Why don't we hear conservatives talk about abortion anymore, huh? Why don't we hear uh, conservative po politicians say they're going to end abortion? Why is it? Now, this is what I've been saying, and this is my opinion. Conservatives support abortion. Conservatives is known for supporting big business. And abortion has become a big business. They probably have a lobby somewhere. And they probably pay off Republican politicians. I mean, they talk, every once in a while they say they're pro-life, but they never prove it. They never do anything to end abortion. Never. Donald Trump was president since uh, 2017, in January 2017. He had a Republican Congress. What did they do? They didn't end abortion. They could have. They could have. They could have uh, passed a personhood act. But no, you don't. You won't find the Republican Party trying to end abortion. And I, and I, I've talked to this. Talked about this every once in a while. But they support abortion. One of the reasons they support abortion is because they are pro-Israel. If you're pro-Israel, you're also pro-abortion. Just go check out the abortion laws in Israel. They are some of the most liberal in the world. Sometimes they use uh, forced abortions. Sometimes they use forced birth control. You see, Israel is trying to build a master race. And those people having children that are not part of the master race, they have to have an abortion. They have to have birth control. You know, if, you're, if, you're, if a woman is immigrating to Israel from uh, Africa, she's black, and she's Go, if she's immigrating to Israel, they will force her to have a birth control shot. They're trying to sterilize black women. Now, you won't hear about that because conservative talkers are pro-Israel. 
anything Israel does is okay with them. Even killing unborn babies. You won't hear the truth about abortion anymore from conservatives. There was a time they talked about it a lot. But you won't hear, I don't, I haven't heard any of the, the conservative talkers talk about abortion in a long, long time. What about Sean Hannity? He's a Catholic. Why isn't he talking about the perils of abortion? I mean, when there's a march for life, conservative talkers used to promote it. They don't anymore. Come on, folks. Ilian Omar supports Planned Parenthood. Why don't you talk about that, you stupid conservatives? How, and, and, and what boggles the mind is that pro-lifers don't seem to understand this. Abortion is big business. We can't do anything against big business, can we? Come on, Pro-Life Federation. There's only one way we're going to end abortion, and that's by getting Republicans and Democrats out of power. Unless, unless you uh, elect a pro-life Democrat. But you know the Democratic Party is not going to take kindly to a pro-life presidential candidate. And Republicans? You know, when's the last time they had a pro-life presidential candidate? Oh, they may claim to be pro-life, but when you see what they do, like Rand Paul, for example, claims to be pro-life, what has he done about it? There are Republicans that claim to be pro-life. What are they doing about abortion? I don't see that they're doing anything. I mean, listen, Republicans are now the minority party. Why doesn't the Senate, where, which is Republican, why don't they offer up a personhood act? Have it win in the Senate, have it lose in the... And they will show that the Democrats are the pro-choice party or the pro-abortion party and Republicans aren't. But they're not doing anything like that. The Republicans in Congress are not doing a damn thing about ending abortion. Now, I have a plan to end abortion if I were president, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a, a segment, if I were president, what would I do about abortion? I'm not doing it today, I don't think. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to do it, I don't know when, you know, maybe Monday. But uh, we can end abortion if we wanted to. And Republicans, when they were in complete control of, of everything, I mean, practic you know, we, got a, we now got a supposed conservative Supreme Court. So, why doesn't Republicans in Congress do something about abortion? Because they support abortion. That's why. I mean, do you remember what Donald Trump said about abortion law in, in, in the campaign? Uh, who was he talking to? I don't know if it was on CNN or where. Maybe it was on CBS, 60 Minutes, or I don't know where it was. But he said that abortion laws are set, and that is the way it should stay. Donald Trump is not pro-life. And I, I find, I find pro-lifers to be a little on the stupid side report, uh, by supporting Republican candidates who say they're pro-life, but they don't do anything about it.
folks. I mean, that you know, the fact is, Ilian Omar, besides telling us the truth about government in Israel and all that, she is basically a typical Democrat, a liberal Democrat. You know, I think she wants what total health care, government funded health care for everybody. That's not constitutional. <laughs> you know, I mean, there are other things that she says that is wrong that they should be talking about, but no, we've got to talk about her anti-Semitism, which doesn't exist. You know, this is one of the things. I, this is one of the things I was uh, thinking about when I wrote about what the hell happened in the United States. What what the hell happened to conservatives? You know, it's 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 incredible what what conservatism is doing these days. Anyway, uh, okay, I'm past ten minutes. I'm I'm sorry. Um, it just really bugs me that conservatives seem to be supportive of abortion. Probably because they're pro-Israel. Okay, listen. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.